When you open up anywhere project schedule, you will see a number of menu items across the top of the page as well as the icon bar below. A lot of these are context sensitive. So depending on where your focus is currently with the uh, cursor depends on what you're going to see on the icon bar and what controls are available to you. Now let's just start from the beginning here at the, the menu. Here we can see that we can access printing from the job selection here. There's nothing to print because we're not in an estimate. So that option is not available here. It's grayed out right now. Under settings, we can go to options and this will display a dialog where you can change the settings for your personal preferences. Okay, so this, this is not going to affect anybody else that uses the program. They're just the way you like to see things or some functionality that you'd like to take advantage of just for yourself. Also, we've got window controls here. So we can, right now, we're displayed as tabs. So we've got tabs, we had tabs. Now it's just a panel. So if we change that and we go to, these are the options, we can cascade our different estimates that we have open because you can have more than one. Uh, we can cascade them, tile them horizontally, vertically, and um, arrange the icons on the icon bar. Now I'm going to select display as tabs. I prefer that myself so I can click from one estimate to another. Also in the help selection here we've got contents and you can search the the help contents here for any topic that you are interested in learning a little bit more about. There is the what is this? So if we click on that and select let's say folder here, uh, it's going to give us information on the project schedule screen and uh, you know you could find the topic specifically, more specifically that you're looking for uh, on the project schedule. Also we're going to have about and that's just going to give us a bit of information about the current version that's uh, being used, also the support 1-800 number. So as you might have noticed, when you click on projects over here in the folder structure, then we get what's called tree controls. And uh, if we click over here on the grid on the right hand side, we get grid controls. So that's the main difference here. And it really depends on where you click that determines what controls you need at that moment. So if we go back over to the folder tree, then it's this switches to tree controls. So now if we want to add another project to Ed's folder, we can click on that and we get the option for folder project or estimate. Now if we change to the grid, then we have a different collection of of options available to us here. Now I've just selected the entire grid and so we have all kind all of the options are available. Now you can copy and paste into Excel. You can, well, here's the control for paste. Um, you can't delete, even though that's uh, lit up right there. I don't think you can delete any of this. The fill control allows you to, let's say we wanted to change all of these time interval settings to days. And uh, we make a selection here for days. We select the entire column and what we can do is, is right mouse click on that first selection there or you can see that you know that first cell is outlined we can say fill down and it's going to just you know copy that first selection into all the cells below and you can do the same thing going the other way if you, you wanted to select a bunch of uh, cells above then we could fill up select the range doesn't have to be the whole column we can fill up and it will just change all of the highlighted cells to the value uh, at the bottom. If we had a number of values like labor values or dollar values in a, in a range, and by that I mean a range that um, is a, a number of cells both to the left and right and up and down, then we can do a quick update on that by either a fixed value or a percentage up or a percentage down. So that's going to be handy in your extension screen when you've got 
groups of numbers and you want to change them by five or ten percent or make an adjustment larger adjustment than that so that'll be available to you on a, a grid with numbers find will search in a column or a um, a group of columns and if we wanted to look for let's say uh, 1 slash 30 for all of the projects that were created on January 30th then it will find the next one and highlight it in that particular column and find next goes to the next one and so on so you can find you know that part of a date or that part of a description in order to you know uh, zero in on a particular project in this case if you need to change the order of the way you see things right now you can go to another column highlight the entire column and then sort either ascending or descending as the case may be well whatever is convenient for you at the time then there's the ability to clear sorting so that it goes back into its original order uh, refresh if uh, something changes or if something somebody has done some work and has added a, an estimate or, uh, or a project and it hasn't showed up on your screen yet you can refresh and it will appear um, if you're working at the same time there's a search tool here so if you're looking for a particular estimate contract or PCO and you remember a partial of the name then you can enter that in here and search and there's actually two projects or estimates really that have uh, the the word sample in them so you can pick the one that you need double click to open it and you can carry on a cool option that you have in the uh, grid control is to right mouse click and toggle on the filter row that'll give you the ability to search through this column of words basically and filter out what it is that you're looking for so if I were to type in demo it will filter out all of the estimates in this case that uh, have the word demo in it now this is available on all the grids in the program and it's very easy to turn on and uh, very convenient if uh, if you need a filter on any row of information we hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.